What's up and welcome to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be getting some more work done on this Civic Type R, so stay tuned. We've got our quarter, our outer wheelhouse, and our side panel all test fit on the car. So what we need to do now is go ahead and hang these doors and make sure all the gaps look good. The initial test fit of the doors looks good, so the next step is to go ahead and take everything back apart, and then we can start welding. The first thing we're going to be welding on the side of this car is going to be the outer wheelhouse. All right, so we're getting everything welded up on the side of this car. We went ahead and hung the doors back on the car for good measure, and we're going to be taking a drill and drilling out all the holes that we're going to be welding, the plug welds, all around the perimeter of the door openings and the perimeter of the panels. We've got all the welding done on the side of this car, and while my brother's cleaning up all the welds, my dad and I are going to test fit the flare on the quarter panel, and we're also going to cut out for the wheel and tire clearance. Now we can move back to the front of the car where we can get the new cradle and all the front suspension bolted on the car and make it a roller. And then we'll get this thing off the frame machine. All right, so we've got the Civic off the frame machine. The next step is to go ahead and start test fitting everything back on the car again. Now we weren't able to really test fit the rockers on the car while it was up on the frame machine because the clamps were in the way, but now that the car is on the ground, we'll be able to set the rockers up there, we'll be able to mark all the mounting points for this wide body kit, and weld in our bungs where we need to. We also can test fit the flare on the door, the rear door, 
and test fit the flare on the quarter panel. We have a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. We've got the new wide body extensions on the quarter panel and on the door and they're being held on by these little things here and these are called Clecos. Now let me show you how a Cleco works if you don't know what it is. These are Cleco pliers. They slide over said Cleco. They push that little silver thing in which will make it release and the way these work is this little thing slides in and out which grabs the hole that you drilled, the eighth inch hole that you drilled there and holds the piece on. Now these are just for temporary holding on of parts. You'll, this, you'll see this thing has little eighth inch holes all the way across so it's going to be riveted on and glued on. So basically you take an eighth inch drill bit, drill through that hole, stick the Cleco on and it'll hold it in place while you do all your test fitting. Now once we get this door taken off the car we will clean up everything that's going to be glued because it's going to be panel bonded on the car and we'll be putting all the rivets in and then making everything smooth and mold it into the door and into the quarter panel. So what's left for us to do now is get this thing taken all back apart so we can get the bungs welded in for the mounting points of the rocker and we can get these wide body pieces molded to the car. Then we can get some primer on it and start getting some paint on it as well. got the flare attached to the quarter panel and while we're waiting on the panel bond to dry my brother's going to be prepping the interior of the car so we can paint the gray and I can show you on the door the process that I used to glue this panel on. Alright so we've got the Civic door taken off the car I got it set on a stand a little bit easier to work with and this flare is held on with the Clecos and I have all the eighth inch holes drilled and let me show you, this is the old one that came off the damaged door. And you see it's cracked there. But on the back side, you can see that this panel is held on with panel bond and the rivets. So what I'm going to do with this thing is pull a piece of tape across here. And I'll, it'll mark where I'm going to have to grind down to the metal because panel bond will not stick to paint. So I'm going to have to grind the paint down to the metal where I'm going to be applying the panel bond. And I'm just going to make me a little basically a little outline of where I'm going to be grinding. So let's do that now. All 
All right, so we've got our tape outlines here. This basically gives me a template in which to grind off just where the edge of the door and the edge of the uh, panel is. So if I grind in between these two pieces of tape all the way down to the metal, all the way around the perimeter of the door, and clean up the edges of that, we should be able to stick it on here with panel bond, put the rivets in, and it's not going anywhere. So let's get our grinder out and start grinding this thing. So we've got the perimeter of the molding on the door ground down to metal. So now we're going to take a grinder and just scuff up the edge of the molding itself. I'm going to be gluing the panel to the door with panel bonding adhesive. And this is 3M's 08115. And this has a 24 hour cure time, a four hour clamp time and a 90 minute work time. So it's gonna give me about 90 minutes to get everything set where I want it to be and uh, get everything riveted on. So I've got plenty of time to do that. This has a mixing tip, which basically mixes the two parts inside here in the tip. I'm gonna squirt a little bit out on this little scrap piece of paper here, just to verify that everything is mixing up good into the tip. And then I'm gonna squirt a bead all the way around the perimeter of the door here. And I'm gonna take this acid brush and spread out the panel bond over all of the bare metal. And I want to make sure I get all the bare metal covered up because this is going to be my corrosion protection from any moisture. Once I get that spread out all around there, I'll get a bead squirt around the flare itself. Then I'll set the flare on the door and start putting in the rivets. All right, so we've got this flare panel bonded and riveted to the door. Now, a couple of these rivets, the studs broke off high here and here. I'm going to have to cut those loose. And they don't want to see the rivets on this car after it's wrapped, so I'm going to have to smooth these over. I'm going to be careful because I don't want to grind the head totally away, but I'm going to smooth them over, put a little filler on the edge, and mold this flare to the door and make everything smooth. So we'll let this dry overnight. We'll come back in the morning and start smoothing up the edges. While we're waiting on this panel bond to dry, let's go ahead and get the gray interior color prepped in the booth and get it painted. We got this interior all taped up. The first thing we're gonna spray on is one coat of sealer, followed by three coats of gray base coat, and then we're gonna put on two coats of clear. So let's get to it.
All right, so we got our last coat of clear sprayed on there. Let's go check it out. We've got the gray interior color painted on this car. We're gonna let it dry overnight along with the panel bond. And then we can come back in the morning and start getting our filler work done on these flares. Then we can put some primer on everything. And at that point, we're ready to start spraying our championship white. Why does brain cells, skin cells, and hair follicles die, and fat cells live forever and multiplies? All right, so that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button. I was hoping I would get the Civic Type R done in two videos, but it looks like it's going to take me three. If you have any thoughts or questions, you can leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell icon. That way you won't miss any future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!